John. John, tonight we've got two of my favorite guests. We have uh, the lovely and talented Andrew Garfield is yes, going to be here indeed. tonight. Extremely gifted family, actor. His family is here. Re really lovely. And and this is this guy just makes me feel good. He's funny. He's talented. He's a very good man. Jose Andres from World Central Kitchen. Yes. Yes. He tonight. gives back. He gives he back. Gives we're going to be cooking. He's incredible. You know what we're cooking? You know what we're cooking? You don't know what we're cooking. What are you? Is he going to cook enough for everybody? Yeah, we'll cook every enough for everybody. Oh yeah! Yeah, everybody yeah. gets some. Everybody gets some tonight. That's nice. Is that true? That's nice. That's not true. All right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's going to be good. Uh, folks, as you know, I love to stay on top of all the new hottest internet trends. I was climbing into random strangers' cars before Uber was even a thing. <laughs> and for a couple of years now, uh, I've been curious about this. One of the hot financial trends on the internet is something called NFTs or non fungible tokens. Confused as to what they are? That might be because everyone who tries to define them does a terrible job. For instance, according to one place on the internet, an NFT is a digital good that lives on the Ethereum blockchain. Because nothing clears things up faster. <laughs> like mentioning the Ethereum blockchain. I think you get there through the Narnia bloodgate. <laughs> so, here's my try explaining it. Okay. You know how in the real world, if you like a work of art, you can buy it, and then it's yours? An NFT is a way to do that with something digital. You see something you like online, but rather than buy it physically, you go to an online marketplace and buy the digital original from the owner. It's stamped with a unique digital code, and the object, or token, is stored on something called a blockchain a secure, permanent, decentralized digital ledger that keeps track of who owns what and where transactions can only be added, but data can never be erased. You can do this with pictures, songs, videos, anything with a digital footprint can technically be sold as an NFT. Phew! Is this what it feels like to be John Oliver? <laughs> Blimey! Now I get why he only does one show a week. Now, there's real money being spent on all this fake stuff. Some notable NFT sales include this Gucci ghost, which sold for a cool $3,600. The famous disaster girl photo for half a million. And early internet meme Nyan Cat for almost $600,000. Nyan Cat is, of course, a meme of a cat with a Pop-Tart body prancing through space with rainbows flying out of its butt. <laughs> which makes slightly more sense to me than the concept of NFTs. <laughs> maybe, the, maybe the strangest example of an NFT is rapper Azalea Banks releasing an NFT sex tape. Okay, but I thought these things were non-fungible. A sex tape is two people funging each other. <laughs> and to be clear, Azalea's NFT is strictly an audio sex tape named Ryder rips. Hey, spoiler alert, Azalea. You can't give away all the details in the title. Orson Welles didn't name his classic movie Rosebud is the Sled, and I <laughs> it. So, I'm still not quite sold on NFTs, but if you liked my explanation of what NFTs were that we showed a little while ago, I have great news. I have written out that explanation on the delivery bag that my lunch came in today. <laughs> and I have signed it, and I am selling my handwritten explanation of NFTs as the world's first AFT, or actual <laughs> thing. <laughs> Shawarma? Salmon? <laughs> Salmon. Mm. You can bid on my AFT at ColbertLateShow.com slash eBay. All proceeds will go to Donors Choose. You'll help fund classrooms where kids can learn important stuff. <laughs> they can learn important stuff, like the difference between things that exist and things that don't. We'll be right back with Andrew Garfield.